everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Commerce with Callaway. I'm back. Um, it's been been a little while, I know. Um, it's been been quite a been quite a while since my last comic review or my last YouTube video, and um, yeah, had just some things in life that I had to take care of, and uh, took some took a step back and hit a bit of a reset button and. Had a few things in life that I had to take care of and things like that. Um, new, just some new living situations and all that sort of stuff. So, um, I took a step back and uh, got off Twitter for a little while. And um, but we're back now. I've hit the reset button. So hopefully now I'll try and get back to doing some weekly, weekly comic reviews and just you know regular videos and. Um, while well, I've been away, I've been working on my own book, still scripting my own comic, and can't wait to get that going and get get an artist on that and get that rumbling and hopefully get that dropped on Indiegogo within the next year. Uh, get that going and yeah, we'll get in this comic review. Now, this is the Superman Man of Tomorrow. It's the latest one. It's a digital first, and oh god, geez, this is my first DC book that I've bought in a long time. Um, I start, I sort of my last book was before the Tom King fiasco on Twitter with Jay Lee and all that sort of stuff. So I haven't bought a book for a while and haven't actually bought any comics for a while. It's been a long time since I've oh, I've been months since I've actually read a comic. So um yeah, let's get into it. It's Superman Man of Tomorrow. Um it's the latest one. It's written by Stephanie Phillips, artist by V. Ken Marion, colorist Amelia Emilio Lopez, letters by Clayton Cowles. So I really liked the the art in this digital book. I loved it. It was really really nice. I had one drama with it though, was Superman's face. That's the only sort of drama that I had. Was uh, let's see, like he lovely shot this one here, like Superman saving a helicopter. But we'll try and find. Just his face. I don't know if it's just me, if anyone in the comments wants to say that. To me, it just it doesn't look like Superman. Other than that, the art is fantastic. Like Superman here looks, you know, he's big, he's ripped, he's, you know, got a demeanor about him. He just, but he, it's just his face. For, he, he's got, he looks like he's got a bit of a pointy Michael Jackson nose and um, just the weird, you know, modern, modern day hairstyle, a bit messy and. Just doesn't look like Superman to me. Superman, he's he's a bit older. Um, he's you know a bit more square. Like he's got a square jaw here, but it's yeah. Just I don't know if it's just his eyes and the, you know and all the panels. He just looks a bit different. Doesn't look doesn't really look like Superman to me. But that's really my only sort of critique of this. Um, with Superman's face, he just he looks a bit young. Um, whereas me, I imagine Superman a little bit older. Like he looks like in this art, he looks like he's in his mid twenties, you know, late twenties. Whereas to me, Superman is a little bit older. But yeah, it's just I don't know if it's just the hairdo or if it's just his eyes. It's, you know, maybe it's just the way the artist draws Superman. But um, yeah, I don't. That's the only sort of critique I have with it. So. Um, this one, he's facing. Uh, there's a hospital that's been under under taken hostage by a criminal he put from in Strikers was in Strikers prison, uh, Dax. So um, the art's fantastic. Like this is the first page you get to. You get Metropolis PD, and you get this weird psionic stuff from um, from from Dax. He's broken out of prison and he's taken over this hospital. And the whole story is um, Dax, his mum's dying of cancer and he wants help. So he's trying to do everything he can to get Superman's attention, to get Superman. I love this page. I love this page. Like you got, we'll go back. Um, sorry, guys, this is my first review in a long time. So we're just going to, we're going to do it off the, off the cuff a little bit. So there's no scripted in this review. We're not going to script it or anything. So this is just unedited. We're going to go back and forth a little bit. And I'm just gonna go through the book. So, like they're in the helicopter here, and they're they're losing control, and they're they um trying to get the helicopter under control, and all of a sudden they've gone with all this um psionic stuff from this from the villain. The helicopter's just gone into a dive, like it's gone straight into a dive, and it scared the shit out of you. 
and then you get this page so there's something's grabbed us and you can see it's this stuff coming out of the hospital this cyanic um power that dax is doing and it's grabbed the helicopter and they've gone straight into a dive and you can see in this panel here they're trying to control it and here as they you know they're losing control you see suit man in another location he's done up his tie so he must be getting ready he's re getting ready to go to work by the looks of it from what i can gather then we get cut back and we get you know they're still trying to get a hold of this helicopter and you know they're terrified they're, they're losing control nothing's working then you see here suit man he's obviously you can tap with suit man he's obviously heard it with his hearing or, you know or seen it but i assume he's at home in his apartment getting ready and um you know now he's unbuttoned his shirt we've cut back to um the helicopter you can see the helicopter's going down they're going to crash and then all of a sudden the, the check the shirt rips open and the superman logo like this this panel here was it this was love this this page was so cool like even though there's a lot of white and stuff here but just the way it follows through he cuts from one one scene one location to the next back to the next back and then you get this and then um you know superman's heard it and they're like brace brace for impact and then you turn the page and boom like then you just got this like I would love to read this in a physical copy and then like you if if it was written right you know and this is on your on your odd number page so it's on the sec on the second the right side of the book then you get this and then you get we're going down and then um then you open it up and you and you turn the page you get to the next side and you just get this awesome shot like how freaking cool is that like suit man he's He's empowering. He's strong, and he's just—he's got this helicopter, and they're like, they're like Superman. I was like, how good is that for like a splash page where you get a bit of credits and stuff? Like it's like that Superman, uh, that Superman, and that page there to me—that's just that is that is what comics are about to me. That's just—it's just fun. And but like I said, the only critique I have is it doesn't really look looks a bit funny to me. Like I don't, I don't, it's not. I don't really picture that Superman's face, but. Other than that, like the suit man, he's ripped, he's muscly, he's big, he's massive legs, and you know, just, just, and he's holding this helicopter up by by one hand, and then you get the next page, and then they're talking, and he's like, uh, where was it? And uh, a hostage situation implies a hostage. Who who did this? And as far as we've been able to tell us, he that he's Dax. He escaped from Strikers. And he's like Dax has has psychic abilities. You've encountered him before, and he's like, I'm the reason he was in Strikers. So Superman's put him in prison. So, like, even this page, like, just the way Superman is drawn, it's really good. It's just just a face. It's just a face that I don't really, that looks a bit funny. But other than that, it's, it, the art is, art's gorgeous. And I really love these in a, in a physical book. So Superman, he's like, he's like a, He's like, I guess this seems like an invitation because there's this force field around the hospital, not letting anybody in. But when Superman goes there, the um, Dax can, you know, see that he's coming, so he opens a opens the door. He's like, I guess that's an invitation for me. So Superman goes in. What do you know? Comicsology hasn't been fixed yet. Um, sorry, guys. It just obviously it doesn't like that page. It's like how yeah, and people want you they want you to pay for comicsology, so like Jesus. So it's not gonna load a page. So so Superman gets into the hospital and the Dax has he's controlled um all the nurses and doctors and people in the hospital with his psychic abilities. So he's controlled them all. And I I kinda like the scene because the He's talking, but he's controlling the doctors and stuff to talk to Superman. Come to me, come to me, come to me. And, um, yeah, it's just his face. It's just a face. It doesn't look like Superman to me, but let's not harp on that anymore. So, Superman, he keeps walking. And like, like, this panel is awesome. Like, he's walking to the door, and then you see Superman push the door open. And we get to the villain. And villain, the Dax, his mum's dying of cancer. And... No one can help him. She hasn't got insurance. He can't pay for it. Um, the doctor said she's terminal. You know, she's only got a few few days, maybe in a few hours. He slipped. She's slipping away. So 
he believes because Superman can fly, Superman, Superman, Superman should be able to help her. He thinks he, Superman should be able to save her. So that was the whole point of um, taking over the hospital, to uh, like sieging the hospital because he knew he'd get Superman's attention and he could get Superman there, Superman there to ask him for help. But as Superman says, he's like, I'm sorry, I can't. We can talk to a doctor, and, and then he's like, no, you can, you have to, please, you have to save her. And um, he's like, oh, I've, I've seen you, what, I've seen, I've seen what you can do. And Superman's like, I'm very sorry, but I, I can't do that. You know, it's like even my ability, you know, I come from a different planet, I can do all these wonderful and amazing things, but yeah, I, I can't heal cancer. So that's when the... Uh, Dax sort of loses it a bit, and he's like, don't do this. He's like, you help people all day. Why not her? And he's like, don't do this. And again, love this page. Like, the art, the artwork's fantastic. Like, um, really is. And the colours are great, too. The colours are very nice. Um, you know, and he's like, him and Superman getting a big fight. Like, this, this page is even good, too. You know, he throws the bed at Superman. He's like, I understand. I understand your anger. I lost my parents too. I under I understand the pain of feeling helpless. And um this when he says to him, he says, I know it hurts, but you don't have to deal with it by yourself. And he's like, I don't want her to go, it should be me. And then, you know, he's blaming himself. Like and then you know, look at this page, like how much emotion in one page, in two panels? He's like, Why isn't it me? And he's like even I don't have those answers, Dax, but I, ca I can tell you you're not alone. Like, like whoever whoever this Stephanie Phillips is, I'm not sure who she is, but, like, yeah. This book, even just digital, the digital, for, in 17 pages is leaps and bounds ahead of what the canon, you know, the continuity Bendis books are. Like, like look at the, the emotion in this panel, the artwork, like, just... It's it's fantastic, and it's only you know it's only a dollar fifty here in Australia, so really good. So we get we keep going, and um, that's so he, he he releases the doctors from his you know psychic mind control whatever you want to call it. And he's like, they're like, what happened? They're like, oh, my head's killing me. And then the the police are like, did he do it? Did he he did it? And he's like, what do we do now? And Superman's like, we wait together. Because that's the whole thing. Like this, Dax, he's felt he's felt all alone. For all alone, no one, no one's wanted to help him. Insure, he's at no insurance, so the medical don't want to help him. His, you know, his mum's dying, and he feels all alone. You know, his mum's dying, and he's going to be all alone. So Superman understands that everybody needs a bit of help sometimes. That you know, not to be alone. And. Um, He's like, why don't you tell me about your mother? And he's like, she she's a good mum, a great mum. I don't know. Maybe a lot of people say that about their mums. She didn't she didn't want to tell me at first about the cancer. There was no health insurance, and she knew we couldn't afford it. So I found a way to pay her, pay for her chemo and everything else. So he actually going by the start of the book was he would rob banks with his with his powers and he would rob banks to help pay for his mum's cancer treatment. He's like, she was so mad when she realised where the money came from. But even when I wound up behind bars, because um, he ended up in prison for robbing banks with his, with his um, powers, and that's why he was doing it, because he wanted to save his mum trying to pay for her bills. So the story was re really... The story was written very well, like very emotional, very... It's what... Made me what fall in love with what DC stood stands for, you know, hope and all that sort of stuff. So now, now Dax is back in prison. And he's like, she, she. Then when he said, even when I got locked up, she visited me every week. She would bring a pack of cards and she would always play rummy. And then here we cut Superman. He's walk, you know, he's walking in the prison. And he's like, there you go, Superman. She never said a word about her condition. Just recounted the score from the previous week. And Superman in starts shuffling cards, and he's like, "I was thinking I might try and go fish this week, since I can't seem to best you at rummy." So, like, even just ending the book and this panel, like, yeah, it was. Um, where was that page? Like, 
so many emotional pages and just in 70 like the emotion in this page you know this one you get this awesome scene where it's just cut back and forth and you just you just follow it with your eyes and it's just like boom you get superman's chest right in the middle and then you open, turn the page and then you get that and it's just like that is what superman is this is what superman should be not that bender's crap so really liked it it was yeah as i said first book first comic book along in quite a while um love superman uh, not Bendis' one, but these digital first books have been really good with Robert Van Diddy and all that. So it is a recommend. Um, they're 99 cents in the States. They're $1.50 down here. So, yeah, really like this book. Really like I recommend it. Um, you get it on Coppingsology. Um, reading it on the PC is a bit crappy, but I read it on my iPad and then I do the review on the computer. But, um, yeah, really good. So... That's it, got Thanks for sitting with me. Uh, it's probably a bit of a ramble. I'm a bit nervous about doing this review. It was my first first one a few months back. So, she was she, like I said, she was just an off the cuff review. I don't script my reviews. I just um, read the book and then do a review and just talk about what comes to mind, what I thought. So there's no scripting in my review. So it's just off the cuff what I think at the time. The art was fantastic. Love the art. It was gorgeous. The only critique I have would be the just the face of Superman looked a bit different. Just didn't look really Superman face to me, what I picture. But I don't know, the art was fantastic. Colors were fantastic. And the script was really good. Nice emotional story. Well done for 17 pages. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, hope you enjoyed my first video back in a long time. Can't wait to do more. And hopefully back doing a reg regular videos and comment reviews. So uh, please like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it'd be much appreciated. It helps bring views to the channel. Um, I'm working on my own book, so I can't wait to talk more about that when the time comes. Um, still in the early stages of nearly, I've nearly finished scripting my first book, so um, that'll be like uh, there'll be a three book origin storyline. So I've nearly finished the first book, and then we'll start getting it drawn. So that's good. So yeah, subscribe. Please like, subscribe to the channel, share the videos uh, on Twitter. Um, Comics with Callaway on Twitter. And yeah, guys, thanks. Stay tuned for the next one. See you next time.